Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having an all right day. Thank you very much for asking. I appreciate it. Uh, I do have a couple new subs uh, I'd like to thank. Um, a new sub, uh, Rubix. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. And uh, most recent comments uh, from a subscriber named Computer Scientist. What's happening? Thank you so much for joining us. Glad you're here. So today's going to seem kind of like odd uh, topic, but we're going to discuss it because I'm experiencing it with a couple of my fish, and it's uh, called an anchor worm. Um, I've never dealt with them before. I've I've researched a lot of things as to how they get in there. There's so many reasons for me to try to figure out how and why I got in there is not really important. Uh, what was important is to figure out how to get rid of them. So I don't have very long because I'm making a treatment bath, but it is kind of complicated what you have to do. Uh, so I'm going to show you what they look like and then what you need to do. So I'm going to stop this and then start again when we get back over there. So uh, give me one second. All right, so welcome back. Um, all right, here, okay, so if you look at this fish right here, look on its tail. You'll see it hanging off of his tail. This is my Dalmatian molly. Now, I've checked all the fish. He he has two. You can see him on his tail, and that is a common place for them to attach, uh, is on the fins and tail. Uh, so, uh, and the other one, I know he looks, you know, dead. He's not dead. Um He's suffering, and I had, look, here he goes. He's suffering, but before I, I decide I, I need to euthanize him, um, there is a process you have to go through with these guys, um, the anchor worms, that is. So first you need to get them off. <clears throat> so, and I had already got them off of this guy. Uh, the best way that I found, because I was messing with this, and I, you know, I did research that they do need to be removed, and then afterwards you need to treat the fish. So what I did is, um, I couldn't do this while holding the camera and show you, but I went in there, got him in the net, okay, and then used my tweezers and went in the net and pulled the two that were off, I mean pulled two that were attached to them off with the tweezers, and then after that, they need a salt bath. And you're not going to do this very long and not, not as much salt as you may think. This is purified water. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, let me get the salt in there. It's a couple gallons. Uh, it's two gallons. So I'm using one-third uh, teaspoon of Epsom salt. Two of them. All right. Fill the rest up with water. Uh, you know, clean water. And... Let them soak for about 15 minutes. That'll help uh, clean the wound from where the anchor worms, because what they do is they, they cling onto the fish and they dig a little hole and then stick their head in there, kind of like a tick on a deer or what you would get on yourself. And then after you remove them, you give them the salt bath and that'll help treat the wound and stop inflammation and stop any other kind of bacteria or parasites from getting back in there. This guy's still doing good. Um... Uh, the other one, uh, you know, I didn't notice it was having any symptoms until yesterday, and then I saw, and I started, you know, troubleshooting and, um, you know, comparing. Anyway, I'm going to go through this quickly, but yeah, as delicately as delicately as you can, I put mine in the net, pulled them off with the tweezers, put it back in, and now I'm making a salt bath, which will sit for about 15 minutes. I'm going to do the same to this guy, but as you see, here's another close-up of it. Um, anchor worms so you know uh, like I said I don't know how it got in there but you know hopefully I can save this guy I, I'm not too sure about the other dude um, he is old though I did read that it's usually juveniles and fry fish that they'll kill anchor worms and on adults they can you know feed for a couple weeks and just fall off um, but I'm not going to risk it with this guy because obviously the other one did not enjoy this whole anchor worm business. So I'm going to nip this in the butt now and we'll do a follow up. I'll let you know if one or both survived this episode. But yeah, I got to remove this guy and then quarantine these dudes for 15 minutes and some salt. Anyway, I know this video is short. I, I hope that, you know, helped you. If you ever run across this problem in the future, it is very 
visible. You know, they it, they look what they what they're called anchor worms, just like a little thread dangling off the back of their fin, or sometimes a fin in the front. Um, and then yeah, it's it, uh, I spent about sixty seconds trying to pull the two off that were on the other fish, um, and then put them right back in the water. And, you know, obviously they can't be out of the water for longer than you can be underwater. So you have to take that into consideration. And, yeah, it was kind of a, a pain. Um, I kept getting a hold of the end of the worm, and it kept slipping its, you know, itself out of my tweezers. So I really had to clamp on hard to pull them off. So we're going to treat them. I'll do an update on how they're doing. I appreciate everyone watching. You know, uh, this is the first time I'm coming across this, uh, d dealing with anchor worms. So... You know, even though I've been de doing dealing with fish and shrimp for a while, um, you know, every now and again I get a new surprise. So, if you happen to come across the same thing and you see this video first, hopefully that helps you know what to do in the future. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to take care of this now, and we'll do a follow up next week. If there's uh, any topics that any of my subscribers would like me to cover on my next video for, um, let's see, I'll do it Sunday. Drop it in the comments. Um, it, it can be anything at all. And if it's something I need to show, you, typically I'll do a whole video. If it's about a plant or, or uh, something of that nature, pull it out, talk about it, show you exactly what to do, etc. Uh, thanks again. Have a fantastic day.